What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Riverside Royals Dynasty. So I just uploaded an episode that was versus Boise State. It was the episode, and you keep in mind, I record ahead, so that's why I'm talking about this now, where everyone wants, not everyone, but some of you want Justin Bennett to be the starting quarterback at this point in time. Obviously, it's not going to happen this season. Oversight by me, I did not realize that he has, where is it here? 44 release. Pretty low. Pretty low. However, that is less important in the slot. And he does have 87 route running and then 80 plus catching and spectacular catch. I still think he could be a receiver. Now, you got to consider this that not everybody can be a quarterback and what is adam daniel profile best as with 87 throw power in my opinion it's quarterback i just think that's that's it now could he be a running back sure but we have two good running backs who are very young sophomore and a redshirt freshman in reggie gonzalez who's back from a concussion this week and phil triplett we don't really need a running back right now i think we're fine for a few years at receiver we have pretty good depth overall, but we are kind of missing that big body after John Humphreys and Elgin Collins leave us. Senior and redshirt junior. Justin Bennett, freshman. I think he can improve that release. So I still see him as a receiver. I don't really think the release is going to be too much of a problem. And yeah, I, I like the story. Oh, Riverside, quarterback. But he doesn't have to be the quarterback to play a big impact. I think you might agree that the best offensive player has been Michael Hamm, and he's a receiver. So, I don't know. I'm still up in the air about it, but we just can't have everyone play corner. Same thing with Marion Bates, right? Where maybe he's a safety, maybe he's a corner. His tackling is not great enough to play safety, in my opinion. Does have 84 throw power, 78 throw accuracy, but based on the team needs and each of these abilities, I think Marion Bates can develop as a corner. So, those are, you know, why I made some of those decisions. Justin Bennett, I think he can play a big impact. I'm not sure if it'll be a quarterback, but today we take on number 23 Tulane, led by true freshman Adam Daniel. Had a very, very good week one as we got the huge upset victory over Indiana. He was good both on the ground and through the air. Ground could have been better, but we were facing a really good Big Ten team. And we're facing a pretty good team again today. Another ranked opponent, a victory here, could put us into the top 25. As you can see, championship contenders, we are currently at rank 42. It's not really, you know, you're not ranked, but we are number 42. And maybe a win could propel us to the top 25. At least it'll be right on the outside with an opportunity to get in after our week three victory, if that is what happens. We just got to hope for wins. And of course, Heisman Watch stays pretty much the exact same as you guys saw at the start of the last episode. I've added plenty of different guys to the board, by the way. So that's why we have 6,200 points. Had to take a lot of guys off because we were just not going to have a realistic shot to sign some of them. I like Matt Montgomery. I'm going to try and prioritize one of these players. Montgomery, we're getting so many points because he's, he's plus 350 for bonus. So... We could get him, like, almost no matter what. Just what do we want to do? Do we want Matt Montgomery, or do we want Corey Hale more? Hale is a bit slower, doesn't tackle too well, but he's a pretty good pass rushing linebacker. Kind of weird at middle linebacker. I think he's going to be a lot harder to sign. So we're going to throw our eggs in the Matt Montgomery basket and see what happens with Corey Hale down the road. Wow, Coach... Corso picking against us again. Going with Tulane. Now, they do have a better overall offense and defense than we do. However, this is their season opener, and this is our home opener. So, I think we could catch Tulane off guard. They are a 90 overall. Great offense and defense. It's not going to be easy. Nobody ever said it would be, but this would be a huge win for the program. Let's start our season strong. 2-0, winning our home opener over ranked Tulane. Let's get it done. Home opener for the Royals here. 
at Royal Field, the kingdom. Let's defend it. And we don't have any moats, so we gotta actually do it on the field. Number 23 against a team that has never been ranked in program history. A community college team thrown into Division I FBS was rough. Just one win in Season 1. Less than five wins in Season 2. Or less than six, maybe. And then Season 3, we took a big step up. And here we are in Season 4. Led by a couple of five stars. Adam Daniel, a quarterback. Reggie Gonzalez at running back. And of course, some big time players on defense, particularly at linebacker. Greg Hall. Craig Jackson. And some young players in the D-line. Willie Hollins. Marcus Kerr. Sophomore. Standout. Phil Walker at D-tackle. And the nation leader in sacks, Adrian Chandler. We got some players. Let's go ahead and get a win. Now we are facing John Reese Plumley, who if you guys did not know, is one of the Heisman favorites to start the year as Warren will take this to the outside. The redshirt freshman has pretty good speed down the field and it's a 45 yard return to start things in Riverside, California. Offense got off to a bit of a slow start last week, hoping to start out a bit quicker than this, this time. As we're gonna get outside with Daniel already. Need a good block down the field as Daniel will just step out of bounds for 13. I didn't mean to snap the ball. I thought I hit triangle first to put Michael Ham on a streak. It was clear that that safety was coming down on a blitz. I thought we could take advantage of that. Didn't let me do what I wanted to do. And that's open. Daniel throws with incredible touch, hits Hayford. A Little bit of a hospital ball that turned up into, but that's all right. 25 yards for the sophomore tight end. Let him a little bit too far down the field, but dropped it in there. Just got to be mindful of the DBs coming down the field. Big hit, but Hayford is strong. Makes a nice catch. First and 10, moving down the field here. Throw over the middle, and Daniel made it look easy. Corey Warren on a skinny post, and that was the easiest drive we're ever going to have. Absolutely no problem whatsoever as the redshirt freshman finds the end zone. And here he is, John Reese Plumley. I'll tell you what though, the castle, Royal Field, we got some energy today. I'm loving it. I'm playing a really good team. I think the second highest overall team we've ever faced in Riverside history. Of course, number one Florida. Actually, we played Bama in year one. What am I talking about? The third highest overall team, I believe though, as Plumley could be a problem. Plumley could be a big problem. That much is evident already. I'll tell you what, though. This is going to be a focus on quarterback for pitch plays type of day. Because after the first play, it's clear that Plumley has some pretty good wheels. And they got some pretty big uh, gains right there. 15 yards for Spears. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. It's going to be a screen, and it's a quick throw away. Plumley saw that we read that fairly well. Wasn't taking any chances. Immediate throw away. Pitch right. Need the hall monitor to get in over there. Nice tackle. Spears loses a yard. Sam Brown in there again. Going to get credit for that. Uh, do you not see Greg Hall making that play happen? Sam Brown cleaned up. He's getting credit for it. It's all right. Back in man coverage. Love man coverage on third and long. That usually works out pretty well for us. Hoping for more of the same today. And that's just going to be a check down. Gibbons can't hold on. And maybe it would have been more manageable if they wanted to go for it had he actually caught the pass. But he drops it. And on 4th and 11, Tulane will punt. This game probably couldn't have started any better for us. Touchdown on our first possession and then stopping Tulane on their first possession. It's about as great as things could have possibly worked out. That safety's coming up. They like to blitz their safeties, huh? Daniel... Far down the field, it's Elgin Collins! Collins stiff arming, and we're in the Tulane red zone. 65 yards. The cornerback came down to play the quarterback scramble, and the corner got torched. Elgin Collins, huge catch. Good run after catchability as well. I think Daniel probably didn't see him until it was uh, almost too late, as that one 
They read both the quarterback and the running back. Second and 14. Little check down, Gonzalez not accounted for. But he got some type of a weird stuck in quicksand animation, so he really couldn't turn up field and make anything happen. It is third and 11. Adam Daniel, pretty good start for him though. Four for four, 109 yards, a touchdown. See what we can do on third and long. Throwing on the brink of the route, and it's Michael Ham. 20 yard TD, Daniel feeling it. And Michael Ham, big catch, great route. Just enough separation, ball zipped in there. That's at 87 throw power. And as I said, the castle is rocking. Full house, full castle should I say. We are defending the kingdom very well to start off. 14 zip, Tulane getting shocked here on the road. Plumley completes his first pass. It is a tackle for loss for Greg Hall as it was just to the flat. That's what we got to worry about. These big runs by these big backs. It's Tajay Spears. Been tackled for loss a couple times, but his other runs where he hasn't been tackled for loss have been big, uh, big gains like that. Run up the middle. Here's Spears. Big hit, Bruce Clemens. Spears shut down. That's how you fill a lane. Deliver a big hit. Second and seven. To run. Thought it was going to be a counter at first. Hall overpowered. Chandler in pursuit. Washington pushes him out of bounds, but Eric Russell gets 25. The Hall monitor met him right in the gap, and I guess... Russell showed him his hall pass. Went right through him. What in the world? Responsible for the back here. Joseph Brown coming up. We're shooting the gap. Plumley took a shot. Oh my goodness, Malik James. See, that's why I like him playing up near the box. He can do that from time to time. And you know what? I think if uh, Malik James didn't do it, Joseph Brown was going to. There's a slant. Brent Mitchell just saved himself probably a lifetime of paralysis because uh, he was almost annihilated by Greg Hall coming over the middle. Very lucky to still have a functioning body after that one. Good tackle by Hall. Spears does get two. Third and eight, getting aggressive. Chandler back in coverage. Plumley airing it out to the end zone and he's got Christian for the TD. That's a, that's a sick pass. What do you do there? Malik James just didn't have the speed. Nothing more to it than that. Couldn't even switch onto him to make a play. Switch me onto the safety, but it's a great throw. I don't think there's any defense for a throw like that. Is that safety? I mean, this is such a bizarre look. Want to run. They play the quarterback again. I think I've made the wrong read literally every time. Is it late? I mean, kind of, but... We gotta be sharper than this. Second and nine. Adam Daniel, I need you. Throw it deep down the field. All right, he threw it about 70 yards. We didn't need him to throw it 70 yards. I didn't know we could throw it that far. Well, Adam Daniel has a cannon. Sometimes cannons are inaccurate. We're gonna go deep down the middle again. This time, he's hitting Michael Ham. The speedster wins deep again. Touchdown, Michael Ham. Going Ham. Adam Daniel has six completions for over 200 yards and three touchdowns, and it's only the first quarter. We got one play. Send Michael Ham deep, and then watch him run to the end zone. Tulane is a possession away with no score from getting officially bodied. It's not been a good start for them. Plumley going to take off. Hall, big tackle. But let me tell you, this is not exactly how I saw this game going. Yeah, obviously I believe in the team. I have faith that we're going to be able to win these games. But man, uh, Tulane, it, Tulane has been destroyed so far. Obviously, like they've had some big runs. They have 89 yards on the ground already. But I guess it's just the 21 to 7 scoreline and the fact that they haven't played any defense that has been most surprising to me. I thought their defense would be quite good. Obviously, teams have been real tough to stop offensively. So, we've kind of seen this the entire franchise. A lot of high-scoring games. Our Dynasty Series. Run up the middle. Oh, we need you to make a tackle there, Phil. Greg Hall. 
monitoring that pretty well, make sure he doesn't get any more. But Phil Walker is right there, didn't get an arm out. We are up 21 to seven at the end of the first quarter. We've played about as well as I could ask for. Uh, you know, hats off to the boys. They've done a tremendous job. Need our defense to play a little bit better. But they played fairly well. Small sample size. But no real complaints. Little check down. Greg Hall's right there. The football came out! So Christian fell right back on it, though. And there's going to be a foul. Face mask. Defense. <laughs> Greg Hall. I didn't look like it. It didn't look like a face mask. Man, Tulane catches a big break here. Can't afford those. That's got to be a pick. Ooh, Allen Hart. I'm glad it wasn't a touchdown. So I'll take any result that's not a TD on that. We've seen that happen so many times. Allen Hart does have pretty good speed. Gets a hand on that ball. Stops a touchdown. Played over the middle. Plumley taken off. Hall got to make a tackle. Big hit. But Reese Plumley gets four. John Reese Plumley. Pick a name. How about that? Pick a name. Third and six. Over the middle, Brown there, duh! Not even in man coverage on him, just tried to double team, but he got open. First and goal, two lane from the four. Looks like a run. I'm gonna play contain in case this is a pitch right. All right, Phil. All right, it's half the distance to the goal. It doesn't really matter a ton at that point. A goal line stand starts with a single tackle for loss. Just need to make a splash play. Up the middle. Big hit. Jackson stops him from getting into the end zone. Third and goal. They're so close, man. I mean, this looks like a pass, but it's got to be a run, right? Run up the middle. Spears gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulane. And just like that, they're right back in it. That's why I said that, you know, another possession without scoring, it's like a massacre, but seven-point game. All it takes is one stop from their defense, which so far doesn't look like it's going to happen. But all it takes is one stop from their defense, and they can tie the football game before the half. So looking to keep the pressure up, keep scoring, and I think it's possible. I mean, we've been nearly unstoppable so far. To be fair, we've had some absolutely massive third down conversions as Reggie Gonzalez will finally get the ball on the correct, uh, correct read. Big gain for Reggie. Yeah, it, it seems like uh, they they pick whoever I don't want to give the ball to on a given play. Daniel misses again. I'm going to streak him. I want Warren on a slant. What do I want Humphreys to do? I think that's actually fine. And then maybe Gonzalo's up the middle as like a last ditch option. Oh, we're facing pressure. Daniel breaking a sack. And eventually goes down. There is a flag. Hoping that's going to be a hold. Or a face mask. <laughs> hoping for not a hold. And we get bailed now by a face mask. And that's a first down. Holy. You know what? All right. It, it, what, goes, uh, what goes around comes around. So nearly going to be a punt. They sent pressure up the middle. Couldn't see anything getting open right there. Gonzalez. Good moves. Five yards is fine. That's better than fine, even. Read option. Oh, wow. I really thought he was going to get blocked outside, so the cut inside would have been perfect. But no, he stayed home. Just uh, unlucky on that one. It is second and 11. I like this idea. Hopefully that, that corner switches vertically. We're going to throw that deep. Take a shot. Nearly intercepted. Yeah, they ran with it. Okay, four verts on the field. Probably not the best idea. I like Humphreys. Can we get it to him? Laser beam! Got it to John Humphreys. That's that big time arm from Adam Daniel that gives us the opportunity to fit the ball into some of these windows where we ordinarily wouldn't be able to. Byers didn't really have the arm and he was the best quarterback we've ever had. So Adam Daniel, I think, will really implement... A new era of Royals football. Second and nine, Phil Triplett into the game as the running back. Daniel going to keep it. Just go through him. Kind of did. <laughs> Seven yard rush. 
Gonzalez, by the way, another injury. Kind of the story of his Riverside career so far. Bruised ribs. He's going to be out for just a minute. But Michael Ham scores another touchdown. His third touchdown of the game. A new school record. Fourth touchdown, by the way, for Andy Byers. This two-lane defense is being dissected by the true freshman. Triplet will play into the game for a little while longer while Gonzalez catches a breather. Might see him in the second half. You know what? This might be the best offensive performance in Riverside history. And it's against some of our best competition. I just, I can't tell you how proud I am of these boys for going out there and getting it done. A lot of football left to be played. I mean, as a Texas Longhorns fan, I know about second half collapses. Saw it all throughout 2021. Spears will lose a yard. Nice tackle made by Bobby Anderson. I want to see him play a lot more this year. Excited about it. He's got fantastic speed. I believe 95 speed. One of the fastest players in the entire team, if not the fastest. Second 11. Rivers will be in motion. To me, play action. Get off that. It's going to be a big catch. Allen Hart's there. It's just, we were stuck on the line. Tried to back up with Hall, but it was too late. If Tulane turns over the football, they're in a really rough spot. Craig Jackson can't wrap up. Big hit by Sam Brown. Oh my goodness, we need another look. Oh, that was a collision. Second and seven. I need to see some more injuries. I'm on my, my Sean Payton, all right? I know he wasn't really super responsible for all that, but he was the head coach that oversaw it. He was really the DC. Oh, this goes to the running back. Wow. And Hart, I, I don't even, this Russell guy is really bothering me. I really need to hire Greg Williams as my defensive coordinator. 100% needs to happen. It is first and 10. Just under two and a half minutes to play here in the first half. One of the flat. Hall, oh, nice tackle. Spears has been tackled for loss a heck of a lot today. But I'd rather face him than uh, whoever this other running back is that continues to pop in the game and annihilate us. How about some pressure? Run up the middle. Spears maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Not even sure they can credit anybody with a tackle on that. It is third and 11. Two lane, six of seven on third down today. It's got to be six of eight now. Playing the slant. Plumlee looks like he wants to run. He's going to try. He's going to take a shot, but he gets rid of the football, and Nigel Givens gets the first. John Reese Plumlee somehow was able to get that football away and accurately pressure right in his face. We just cannot finish Plumley taken off sliding for five they're gonna get a touchdown before the end of the first half I know it sounds crazy but I almost want them to score right now so that we have time to score before the end of the first I, I, I don't want them to score but I think it's inevitable we'll see what happens on second and five Hall in the backfield huge shot Spears gets annihilated Greg Hall says not today. Third and nine. Another big third down for Tulane. Got to make a play. In zone coverage. Right in front of Hall. He face masked again. He face masked. I, I don't... Face masked isn't really a verb. But he had another face mask. Second one of the first half. Ah, uh, and I, on a huge, huge down. It's happened twice on third down now. Stop doing that, Greg, please. Brown in pursuit. Nice hit. Our run D is starting to step up. As long as we can shoot gaps, we're going to be able to make plays. It's just when we're not able to do that, our defensive line gets bodied in a, in the run game sometimes. Plumley trying to run, and he's sacked. We're going to call a timeout. It's third and goal. Tim Washington gets credit for the sack on that one. Because either way, you know, this is the last possession. Unless it's another big penalty, it's either going to be 
Points or no points? Give me points. Brent Mitchell gets a touchdown. I don't know where anybody is. I have no clue. I don't even remember the coverage I called. I wanted to say we had Tim Washington in a deep zone. Couldn't have been. I, I, I'm not even sure. I think that's Joseph Brown who just totally didn't see him going deep. Tulane makes it again a one score game. 37 seconds. We have two timeouts. I mean, we scored in 37 seconds on Michael Ham's second touchdown of the game. I see no reason why we can't do it when we're actually trying to move the ball quickly. Corey Warren with a shot to return this to get a good start. Up the middle. Decent enough blocks. 34 seconds. We have some crazy deep threats. Let's have him make some plays. We're going to give him a shot. John Humphreys, big size advantage. We can just never work back to the football. I hate that. Totally defeats the purpose of having a six foot five receiver. Second and 10. Somebody's going to win deep. Or maybe it'll just be the running back. Gonzalez back in the game. Got to be careful with him. First and 10. Who's going to win? Collins. Can't hold on. Tight window throw on that one. Just 14 seconds to play here in the first half. Ooh, what about a screen? It's a little bit ballsy here. If Ham gets a big free release, I'll throw the ball quickly. Otherwise, this has to go to Gonzalez. We got blockers out in front. That's a good block. Reggie got to make a man miss. That's a face mask. That's 15. Seven seconds. Clock's going to stop because of the defensive penalty. That was so close to being touchdown, by the way. I thought we saw daylight for a second. We're going to get the ball in the 18. We have a timeout. I mean, it's one quick throw up the seam, probably to Barrett Reed. And take the points if we don't convert here. Lobbed it up. Reed can't come down with it. That's okay. That's okay. I think that was our highest percentage chance on that. We will try the field goal. Got to make this with Finch here. A little bit of wind going on. That kick is up and good. It probably looked like it was leaning the other way because of the mirroring effect. But we are up by two scores going into the second half. Colorado State in a slugfest against the Golden Gophers. What a good half of football for Riverside. Allowed more points than we wanted to, obviously. But Tulane's got a great team, great offense. Our defense has played, I think, about as well as they could have. Just got to capitalize more on some opportunities. Like, we're just letting them get away with stuff. And the two Greg Hall face masks have really set us back. Because it's been, it's been situations where they probably only come away with six combined points from those two face masks that happened on third down that were short at the sticks, and they ended up being two touchdowns. The offense has been, I don't want to say perfect. We've converted on third down when we needed to, and it kind of makes it look a little bit better than it has been. But overall, we've won from the big plays. I think Adam Daniels played very well. And with Tulane getting the football to start the second half, it was imperative that we got points up to end the first. So just got to continue to play our game. Offense carrying the team a little bit. All we need is a, is a turnover, some type of stop. And I think we're going to be right in the driver's seat with a situation where we can probably end the game. Because I don't see a situation where our offense is stopped. We've been too good today. Chandler, that, that's how you contain that's how you contain. I mean, it isn't really. We kind of got lucky because I, I switched on to play the pitch man, the running back. And Adrian Chandler just grabbed him from behind. So good stuff there. Oh, you can't. You can't run at Malik James. What are you doing? Well, I want to call Malik Willis literally every time, by the way. It is third and ten. Defense, they came to play here to start the second half. Gotta love it. Third and ten. I don't really love zone. And that's why. Big hit by Bruce Clemens. Guess what? Doesn't matter. First down, green wave. Plumley going to run. He's taking a shot. Very lucky to come away with a yard there. That pocket was collapsing. That was Marcus Kerr got in there and just got cut down. Otherwise, it would have been an even better play. It is third and five. Wow. That, can't, that stat cannot exist. 
10 of 11 on third down we have to be way better on defense third and five force him to make a perfect throw Plumley gonna run Plumley gonna get sacked it's Craig Jackson Adrian Chandler doing a lot of spectating there but that's how you make a big play on third down Jackson one-on-one -on -one against a tackle you need to get back inside there that's really a covered sack so props to the DBs down the field that is a covered sack Craig Jackson benefits and Tulane will punt that's exactly what we needed touchdown really puts us in the driver's seat I don't want to come away with a field goal still a two touchdown game at that point they would take the lead with two touchdowns so need a touchdown here and I'll be really confident about our position Daniel on read option it's not a bad play could have been big if we could get that to the outside just couldn't quite get there and he's not been amazing on the ground today seven rushes for you know eff effectively three yards per carry hasn't been amazing but we've made the wrong read sometimes we've gotten pressured a little bit Michael Ham won instantly laser beam Ham looking for touchdown number four big tackle made by the nickel corner but Michael Ham has four catches that's a Randy Moss stat line four catches for 125 yards and three touchdowns he was looking for number four there Michael Ham is something else I know John Humphreys you guys want to perform a little bit more but how do you ignore that speed it's exceptional second and ten not great blocks but I want to get Reggie Gonzalez going a little bit it's tough they're pretty good in between the tackles so we're doing what we can I like the idea of getting him the ball in space we are 100% conversion rate on third down safety's coming up this is a perfect time for a screen perfect time you have to make a block Reggie Gonzalez doesn't care look at the effort from Reggie Yes, the five-star. I don't care how many times I say it. I'll keep reminding you. Make it a five-star play. <laughs> the blocks weren't there. They were not. But he made a great individual effort to get that first down. Move the chains. We are set up on first down. Daniel going to break a tackle. Big hit. He survives it. <laughs> if only barely he survives it. Triplet into the backfield now. Is another screen. Needs some blocks there. Gets one. And Phil Triplet finds the end zone. Redshirt freshman in his second ever game. And it's touchdown number five for Adam Daniel. This might be the best performance by a Riverside quarterback ever. And it's against the top 25 Tulane. All I have to say, Adam Daniel Doubters. Are you not entertained? Are you believers now? Bow down to the king. Take a kneel. That's what the king's going to do, ironically. Should be the other way around, right? Spears will take it. And he's had a rough day. He has had a rough day. Adrian Chandler drags him down. This is your Heisman favorite? John Reese Plumley? This is the guy? This is the guy? Malik James, tackle for loss, his second. Third and 13 for the green wave. I need Chandler to make a tackle there, by the way. That's inexcusable that he didn't. When we have it set to play the quarterback and he just watched. Hold on. Ah, we're not, man. This is tough. This is tough. They're going to run the ball. Are you conceding defeat? Maybe not. Dude, I'm not even hit sticking. Bruce Clemens tracks him down. Oh, 50 yards. What the f fuck is that excuse the language but what is that we're right on him i'm pressing the tackle button he's like tackle him get your arms out touch him grab him down first and ten i got stuck in zone i just didn't like it okay we're in player lock plumly gonna take off uh yeah i what are you going to do on that one? I didn't mean to hit left stick in. <laughs> All right. Uh, some of you might think, oh, I'm going to 200 IQ this. Bengals throwing for content to make the game closer. Nope. Just awful. First and goal. Run up the middle. 
Whoops, I whiffed. I, I'm throwing for content. I can pretend I'm not just awful. Ah, it's going to be 10-point 10, 10 game, 38-28. I don't want to talk about that drive. I need, I need water. I need to reset. I'll be back. All right, offense has been going. Just got to keep them going. Keep them rocking. I'd like to keep running the ball, but their closing speed is so great. But Reggie Gonzalez has the open field. Gonzalez down the sideline. Big gain for Reggie. Good blocks. Good agility. Way to make him miss. Love the elusiveness. Call that nice little jump cut, basically. And that's a fresh set of downs. Hold on. I like I like the matchup on the outside. That safety's coming down. I like Barrett Reed over the top here. In fact, I love it. Didn't really release off the line. Daniel, just throw it away. Didn't really work out like I wanted it to. It had to be Ham. His release is so high. Maybe release is really important. Even with a slot receiver. Because they press and we should be able to win easily there. I don't know what we're going to do with Justin Bennett yet. Just yet. Obviously a huge recruit. You know, Riverside guy. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see him in this position. But Adam Daniel is absolutely dominating. And yeah, some of his completions have been on screens. To Phil Triplett for a touchdown earlier. He's back here on third down. Read the screen that time. Daniel, quarterback keeper, one-on-one, -on -one, went through one. Thankfully for Tule, and there was another guy there. Second and goal. Draw, Gonzalez walks in. Touchdown, Reggie Gonzalez, and we've dropped 45. Riverside offense is unstoppable. And the Mountain West continues to struggle. Minnesota beats Colorado State in OT. Okay, so this is a little bit dangerous. We are relying on pressure. Plumlee gonna scramble. He's gonna escape. Washington couldn't bring him down. That's 15. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way to keep him in the pocket. Maybe it will be containing. Not really sure yet. Because sometimes you just go straight up the middle. It's, it's kind of tough. He doesn't necessarily do one thing or the other. There's a number of things. Uh, Greg Hall has 14 tackles. I know I, I'm sometimes not great at tackling in space. I've been pretty good this game. 14 with Greg Hall. Plumlee gonna run. And he's got a he's got plenty of room there. <laughs> oh man. It's just the agility of some of these these guys. It's just they're unstoppable because their cuts and plants are so quick. And you just can't, you can't move like they do. It's a screen. Paul trying to get there. Big tackle. I said it a million times. Tajay Spears has had a rough day. Hasn't necessarily been him. He's just been put in some awful situations. Oh, it's a screen. Perfect time for it. And it's a throwaway. It's a third down throwaway. Or second, they had it wide open. Still an incredible conversion rate. They're 11 for 13 on third down. Rivers in motion. Hall's going to switch to him. He's going to stay in the block. Hall trying to check down, or in front of Hall, I should say. Plumley trying to check down. But Hall is there for his 15th tackle. 15 tackles. 16 tackles. Four for loss. What a game from Greg Hall. The Hall monitor. He might put up 20. Oh, nope. Ran by that one somehow, even though we were right on him. I mean, we got to be near the school record for tackles in a game. Have to be, right? Hall over it. Plumlee trying to run. He is sacked for a third time. That is the true freshman, Terrence Brown. He's a good player. Kind of relegated to D-tackle three because of some, uh, some depth chart things. But uh, I have high hopes for him. I think he'd be a really good player. He was our biggest uh, signing of the offseason. We kind of got caught out of uh, position there. But he was our biggest signing of the actual offseason, I think. Right up there near the top if he wasn't the biggest. And uh, I, I think he can be really good. Where is Greg Hall, by the way? It's third nine. Would like for him to be on the field. 
Gonna be lobbed up. Anderson knocks it away. Bobby Anderson, continue your big day. Yeah, and he doesn't play a ton, so when he contributes, you know, you gotta shed some light on that. He's gonna stay in. And we're in we're in dime, but you'd figure that Paul would still be on the field. Maybe he is. They're gonna call a screen. They're gonna throw it. Russell breaks a tackle, but he's well short of the line to gain. And Tulane, playing very conservative football, will turn over the ball. They don't deserve to have it. You're gonna play that conservative? You don't deserve to have the ball. Third and three. We're going deep. We got Michael Ham slightly underthrown. Humphrey's open to the left as well. I understand that. And we're going to go for it here to try and win the game. Here's the thing of why I didn't throw to John Humphreys. And it, you could definitely argue it was the right decision. Totally could agree with you. Just think that with Ham's deep speed, if we lob the ball up, we have a better chance of him having more space to run underneath it than John Humphreys. But we are going to throw for Humphreys now. And John Humphreys going to catch it. A little back shoulder action from Adam Daniel. Pretty good ball placement. And he's up near 400 yards passing. Still plenty of time though, but I think it was big to move the chains and keep possession. Reggie Gonzalez has, I mean, a couple of big runs that kind of make his overall stat line look better today. Certainly has not been bad, but hasn't been amazing. Daniel under pressure, trying to escape, throwing it, finding Corey Warren, and Corey Warren got destroyed. That's an amazing throw. Saw that corner coming down. Perfect timing. Anticipatory throw. And we could be looking at a sixth touchdown from Adam Daniel. Who's going to get open? Tight end. Hayford! Tick too late. Showing no remorse here so far. Just continuing to put our foot on the gas pedal. All gas, no brakes. Texas should be. Reggie Gonzalez... Gets another touchdown. And it's a 50-burger. Two lane down by a million now. Studio update. Colorado, San Jose State. LaVisca Chenault is still at Colorado. How is that physically possible? How could that be possible? I'm at a, I'm stunned. We need them to represent the Mountain West strong, though. Not Colorado. It's San Jose State. And take out the Pac-12 Colorado. But, um... LaVisca Chenault might be an eighth-year senior at this point. Still at Boulder. Quick throw to the flat. Hart make a nice tackle. Does a job. Two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Quick throw over the middle. Craig Jackson's there. But that clock's going to keep ticking as long as they're not getting first downs. I mean, they have a mountain to overcome. It's not sure it's going to happen. But that's a good way to start it. Spears down the sideline. Hart drags him out. Is Plumlee going to run? He's going to throw at the end zone. Tim Washington right there. You knew he wasn't going to get a pick. I mean, come on. You've watched him before. He has actual bricks where his hand should be imagine listen if you're somewhere with access to bricks i don't know where that would be go ahead tape them to your hands as tim washington got torched to nigel givens touchdown what are you doing he's got eyes in the backfield they teach you don't do that it's the easiest way to get torched and tim washington little raw all right, center sneak. What was that? That's got to be a false start. Encroachment. Encroachment. Phil Walker? Why does he always jump? It was Willie Hollins. True freshman. I'll give him a pass. They're going for two. So it's, it doesn't matter too much. Brown. I mean, heat-seeking missile at Sean Reese Plumley. Green, wave goodbye to your playoff chances. Lee Mayfield gets a return on the onside. Yeah, but the green wave are going to go down here. Minute and 29 to play. Uh, they are not winning. And it's not particular. I'm, I'm hitting the controller die. Hit R1 like twice. I don't know why it's been doing that recently. Did it at the end of, or not even the end. Did it last episode too. But because it's not on like PlayStation, 
I don't know why it's not pausing it. It's just like disconnecting. Very bizarre. But third and 16. Looks like Adam Daniel probably not going to end up throwing for, uh, for six touchdowns. We're going to try and get 400 yards over. I think we're like six off. Just doesn't let me audible, dude. All right. Probably the last play of the game here. It doesn't get really more open than that. Elgin Collins first down. And that is over 400. Elgin Collins, couple big catches today. We'll try one more. I know it seems kind of like crazy to run up the score. We had teams do it to us all season one. And uh, Michael Ham up the seam. It was a seed, just a good play by the DB. But that is the game. Adam Daniel, 416 yards, five touchdowns in one of the biggest ever wins for Riverside and in convincing fashion. Yes, close first half. Don't get me wrong. In the second half, Tulane got crushed. Offense was unbelievable. Really not too many bad things to say about the team. Just played incredible football and deserved to be a top 25 team after this. Back-to-back -back ranked wins to open the season. 2-0. Put Riverside in the top 25. It's about time. Game stats, Adam Daniel, 20 of 32, 416 yards passing, five touchdowns. Maybe the best game by a Riverside quarterback ever. His numbers on the ground were less than impressive. Did have 53 yards, 71 yards for Reggie Gonzalez, including two touchdowns along of 36. And then receiving John Humphreys, four for 88. Michael Hamm, four for 125 and three touchdowns. Touchdowns for Corey Warren and Phil Triplett as well on that screen. And then defensively, 17 total tacklers, tackles for Greg Hall, including four for loss, led the team. Multiple players with two tackles for loss. Uh, Bobby Anderson played well. And then three sacks. Terrence Brown, Tim Washington, and Craig Jackson. We got a sack from every level of the defense. No interceptions, obviously. But what an incredible game. Greg Hall, I mean, 17 total tackles. Is that a joke? Four for loss. And then offensively, maybe the best performance by a Riverside quarterback ever. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Ohio State crushed Tulsa. Michigan State over Eastern Michigan. I mean, nothing surprising so far. Although, Texas Tech lost to an FCS school. FCS East takes down the Red Raiders. And oh my goodness, in the top right as well. North Dakota State, an FCS school, took down Louisiana. The Raging Cajuns lose by a field goal in OT. Notre Dame uh, against the U was OT as well. Notre Dame came out on top. What a crazy week of college football. Week three doesn't get a whole lot easier though. Top 15 team in the country in Maryland and we're gonna see for the first time if the Riverside Royals have made the top 25. We had two conference player of the weeks, by the way. It has to be Adam Daniel and Greg Hall. I don't really see a way around that. And for the first time, Riverside is ranked. Oh my goodness, I have a bag of pistachios on my elbow. What is this? I'm a witch. Don't put me in Salem, Massachusetts. They'll hang me. Dude. The bag just caught on my, <laughs> my hoodie sleeve. You know what's funny? Uh, they had a great test for finding out if you were a witch back in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, is if uh, they killed you, it turns out you weren't a witch. If you could survive being hanged or being stoned to death or having a bunch of rocks on your chest, ah, hey, we got one wrong. Turns out this one also wasn't a witch. Probably the worst test ever to find out if someone's a witch. Well, we'll just kill you, and if you, if you survive, you're a witch. In which case, you're screwed, by the way, because it's a witch. They're going to kill you. Uh, but second of off, or sec second off, uh, no one ever survived because there aren't witches and unless I'm one But oh my goodness, what a game this is gonna be for the first time We are ranked Unbelievable look at this here. I think this has moved up, right? Championship contender up to a B plus 
I mean, how can you how can you say anything about this, man? Zero national TV wins, but we've beaten some really good teams. I don't know how that's. I mean, you figure maybe top 25 teams are playing nationally televised games, but not always. All right, let's see an update on recruiting before we call this an episode. Matt Montgomery, we're looking pretty good. Aaron Garcia, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Plus seven gem, looks like a really good tackle. And it looks like we're gonna get him probably. Still fighting for some of these other players like Ronald Rogers. Would love to get him over Cal and San Diego State, that's for sure. Jared James, 68 overall defensive end. Looks like we're going in the lead on him. Looks more like a D tackle really. Mike Johnson's going to be a battle. This is a four-star athlete at a San Bernardino. And he is what? He is a linebacker, maybe? He looks a little slow. He has 80 power moves. 71 speed. Coverage isn't terrible. Block shedding's at a 79. I could see Mike Johnson playing defensive end. Kyle Smith, we're in the lead on him. Is that Georgia State going after him? interesting he's got good speed good tackling Kyle Smith would be a big get battle for Eric Smith battle for Andy Harris Mark Morgan we have no shot at which I feared that would be the case but it is sad Marlon Walker has already locked us out don't think I put any points in there but that's okay we'll take him off the list Craig Butler no shot at him some of these I just put them on the list to, to see where we are and it's important to take off the guys that clearly have no shot to get which unfortunately is a lot of them matt washington tim washington's brother will say no shot to get him he's headed to ucla just having a tough time finding finding some players that really are going to fit what we need going forward obviously a lot with recruiting you're trying to just get the best players overall and figure out the rest as you go and I think we should be in a position to eventually sign a monster recruiting class. Not that we didn't last year, but it could be even better this year. As this could be a sick Juco player. Only team offering with scholarship. This can be a player we absolutely sign. But if we're going to get any of these guys, we got to start offering scholarships and throwing points at them. He's from liberal Kansas. Not sure we want him anymore. Brian Bradley... Very good receiver for a running back, I will add. Catching traffic's low. Good speed. Ryan Bradley looks real good. No scholarships. Let's see if we can rearrange points and maybe try to get him. Maybe Matt Montgomery's a little bit less important. We'll go 150. And we'll put those on the running back. Where you go? I don't know. Get him with 200 total. Might not be able to get him, but the fact that no other team has offered him a scholarship tells me that we could be in play. And I'm going to add more guys to our board after we call this a video, but that's going to do it for me now. And because I'm not going to do any scouting, I'm just adding them to the board. And I will see you in the next one. Big win. Riverside ranked for the first time ever. Super excited about it. Take it easy.